Blessings to you. This is Ken, your partner in prayer, God's prophetic intercessor. Listen, I want to talk to you this morning about the three-part harmony of money. Now, what do I mean by that? In the scripture, in the book of Genesis, when Abraham went out against his enemies, it said he parted his company into three parts. And from what I understand, having read the book of the rabbi saying, thou shalt prosper, he used that principle of parting your money in three parts. And that's why I call it the three-part harmony of money. And let me give you an example, because just yesterday I was speaking to a friend of mine who said that he was going to the store to cash in his winning lottery ticket. <laughs> You know, to each his own. I'd rather sell them than buy them, you know, but uh, let me leave that alone as well. But what happened was, he told me, I said, so how much did you win? And I'll just say as a round figure, he said $100. I said, so what you going to do with it? He says, well, I'm going to cash it in and buy me some more scratch-off lottery tickets. I said, oh, no, man, you don't do that. What are you going to do with your winnings? You have to divide it into a three-part harmony. He said, what do you mean? I said, you spend $33.33 on getting more tickets, if that's what you choose to do. Then you put $33.33 in your pocket. And the other $33.33 you spend on yourself to enjoy your winnings. And I told him, use this principle in everything. Because he said, well, at least I thought I'd put maybe, you know, play $90 worth and put 10 in my pocket. I said, no, because if it was $10, all you put in your pocket would be a dollar. No, use the three-part harmony when it comes to the division of your resources. Because you will invest a part. That was the third he was investing in buying more lottery tickets, although that's not my suggestion. And then the other third is what you save. And the other third is what you spend on your bills. If you will follow these simple rules of the three-part harmony of money, your pocket's going to be fat, Jack, and you ain't going to have any lack. This is Ken, and I'm your partner in prayer. 